what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today i want to go ahead and talk about some call of duty season two has finally arrived and it seems to be overall a success in both black ops cold war and the war zone but before we get into what exactly we got this time around please do me that favor like this video subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications in the background there is some call of duty black ops cold war gameplay on the new map apocalypse i'm using the all and now i do pretty damn decent so i definitely do hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background as we get through the topic of discussion that all being said let's go ahead and get into it finally season two has begun and so far it is a breath of fresh air automatically with the new season update comes with the fixing of glitches and exploits throughout both cold war and the war zone but that only means that there's new exploits to be discovered and you know how that goes when it comes to these devs they fix one thing they break like four other things so i'm sure there will be new exploit videos hitting youtube shortly so i'm definitely not really going to touch on any of those fixes because they don't matter what i do want to talk about though is the new guns the new map and the implementation of zombies into the war zone when it comes to the weapons this time around we got the lc10 smg and the fara assault rifle both be to be pretty solid if not a little bit op but they dlc weapons so you already know how that goes i will say the fara has a bit of recoil to it but does seem to hit pretty hard as long as you hit the shots i picked it up briefly in the war zone and i was able to get a couple of shots off unfortunately i missed during that time and i did actually go to the gulag but so far it did feel pretty good when i did pick it up the lc10 honestly reminds me of the better mp5 it's smooth the mobility is there it's fast it gets its shots off pretty good moving on call of duty cold war got the new map apocalypse and so far it is pretty damn good good it isn't too big it isn't too small and it has decent lines of travel so definitely do check that out i normally play hardcore so camping is enabled majority of the time and i never actually felt like i couldn't move on the map now that being said it isn't perfect just like with all the other maps in the game there are head glitching spots pretty much everywhere so get your accuracy up so that you can get them killed if you can aim and land your shots you'll be fine playing this map i did play it on core as well and it is pretty good so overall the map is actually pretty solid in my book and if you get the chance definitely give it a chance moving on the outbreak event has started in conjunction with season two and there are a few goodies associated with it it has its own tab and requirements so if you are playing either the war zone or um, call of duty zombies definitely check that out i haven't had the opportunity to really jump into zombies this year but reading the review so far it continues to be pretty dope and definitely worth the trip back to zombies if you've already moved on the outbreak event brought a new area to the war zone the shipwreck it is literally a shipwreck a big ship hit the prison and it is loaded with about 40 zombies it's awesome when you can get it just like the opening of the superstore in the stadium right now it is crawling with new killing supermen camping waiting on your sorry ass so that they can get an easy kill they specifically wait until you're having a good time with those zombies then they pop out when you don't have any ammo and insta send you to the gulag quick side note they did actually change up the gulag they added a few boxes and made each side a little bit more balanced now so you shouldn't have you know that issue that we had before where one side was clearly better than the other obviously they changed all the weapons throughout both the war zone and the gulag so definitely check out some of the drop weapons throughout the map some of the rares some of the lmgs smgs and assault rifles are actually pretty good now overall the war zone is still pretty sweaty but there is still fun to be had there and if you are are a warzone player like myself definitely do jump back out there and give it a try those are really the major aspects that were added there will be a link in the description box that leads to the full details i didn't go through every bit of it because i'm honestly currently playing the game and enjoying the double xp and the double weapon xp i am currently going for the dark matter camos and everything on call of duty black ops cold war so it is definitely a must to play during these times when they give you those double xp opportunities nevertheless that is about it for me what do you all think do you like the new season will you play the new season are you still playing the game what changes would you make let me hear it down below in the comment section i truly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video it's a short one but like i said i'm actually playing the game right now so that's gonna be what it is please don't forget to leave a like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications i truly do appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one